Hello guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this fun looking platform game. Yeah, it's really fun. So, um, for this tutorial, I'm just going to be making it. So this tutorial, I'm probably just going to be making the player physics, the ground um, made by pen, and then maybe like the um, player in, in um, pen. So I'm just going to create a new project. Let's call this pen platformer. Alrighty. Now let's just delete this and then we will add a new sprite. And then we'll call this pen engine. Just like that. Now, after that, I'm going to just create a black square. It's okay. You guys can also create a black square. It's This is not the actual character. This is just the frame of the pen. So, I'm going to make it using, like, probably 26. 26 pixels by 26 is great. Now, we'll do when flag clicked. We will broadcast a new message start start game and then we will do when i receive start game we will um grab a forever loop and create a new brock and call this player um physics and every block that we make always has run without screen refresh so always click this option okay then click ok and then we'll put flare physics here and then we will do when okay so when when the player physics happens we will do uh we will change our y or oh, we need to create variables i forgot about that make sure these variables are for this sprite only oh, just delete this variable then we'll call this one y velocity after that um we will do change x y velocity by minus one and then we'll do if key and left arrow then we'll also do right arrow so if key left arrow pressed will change our y by x velocity by negative one Change your y velocity by one. After that, we will do um, we can like, uh, We'll also set our x velocity to x velocity times 0.9. And then we'll change our x, we'll change our x velocity by maybe, uh, actually we just need to change it by x velocity. Um, now we'll do if then, if touching color, and we'll do black, because that will be the ground, basically. So if touching color, and you can do any color, but then we will choose, uh, where is it? Change Y by one. And we'll make duplicates of this, so we'll do four duplicates. And then we'll make one more. Oh, we don't need 
another one of these. Then we'll do negative four. And then we'll change our x velocity by x velocity times 0.1. So what this do, we'll do is when um, it's going like touching the color, we'll do this little left and right effect. So then after that, but you can't like see that effect, which is, I don't know. If then key up arrow pressed, then we will set our y, uh, set our y to 17. That's the best number probably. Um, and then after that, we'll do if, then else, if x velocity is greater than zero, come on, if x velocity is greater than zero, well, we will set our x, y, or, yeah, we will set our x, x velocity to minus 10, else we will set our x velocity to 10. So then after that, we will, oh, this is supposed to be if, then, else, sorry. So this is if, then, else. Uh, this is supposed to be there, and then this is supposed to be, yeah. So basically, it still does not work. So, um, actually, the reason is because we're not touching black. So let's just grab, like, a black. And obviously, it's not changing its Y because we did not put our Y position. So let's just try this. See, it does not work because we did not change our y by our y velocity. So actually, after that, we will change our y. Uh, not there. We will change our y here. Change our y by y velocity. And then we will do, if touching color, take all of that code out. If touching color, We'll change our y by 1. This is just to interface this thing because, like, we have this 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals a 4, and then we have negative 4, which is 0. So it doesn't really do anything. So that's why we add the 1 here. And then after that, we... Uh, uh, this is supposed to be negative one, not one. And then we'll change our y by y velocity. Uh, it's not sticking inside. I think it got stuck. After that, change your y by y velocity times point one, and then we'll set our y velocity to zero because come on, who wants their character going in the platform? So yeah, set y velocity to zero. And then we will change our y by, um, yeah, we'll change our y by negative one. After that, we will, if then, if key up arrow pressed, if key up arrow pressed, so this is now where the physics start coming in. And then we will do and, so I'll do this if key up arrow pressed, then we'll set our y velocity to 15. Cause then after that, you see this thing lands and then but the problem is that it is still jump, it's jumping in midair basically. And we don't want that to happen. You see like midair, I'm literally jumping. So to fix this problem, we have to go to the operators 
and then grab and and then we put this here and then we do this so basically this will jump only if it touches the ground because the ground is black so I'm trying to jump in midair and I can't so basically yeah that is the physics of of the plot of the player of the pen player now we will create our ground and then that will be it for this tutorial and then actually one more thing is we will change your y by one because you see that sinking effect we'll change our y by one so if we yeah it's basically just working up oh, it's not properly I think accidentally like actually we don't need that block so just take it out and then you have your platform oh where's the don't see the left and right arrow keys working the right arrow is not working I think it's not like Oh yeah, this is Y velocity. That's why it didn't work. And now we tried, boom. Yeah, so we just have our physics right there. Now, what we need to do is, um, we need to go to the, the script where we have our player do forever. But before that happens, we need to set our x velocity, y velocity to zero because then the thing will go crazy and stuff. Like it will be literally like in a weird velocity. So yeah, it just basically has it. And then we can also like put our go to x zero to zero because why not? And you can even, you can put your own position, so. So yeah, it just started from zero. So that is the player physics. Now, we need to um, make our ground pen. So this is, um, we're gonna just remove this uh, thing. And then we will go to the pen engine we stay in the pen engine because this is where all of our pen happens so go to the my blocks and we'll call, create a block called draw line from if i spelled from form we fix that from and then we will do uh We'll do X and then we will do our Y. And then we'll put two, obviously, because we need to make it from one point to another. So, and then we'll put X two and then we'll put our Y two. Click run without screen refresh, like I said, because uh, all blocks need run without screen refresh. So basically what this does is we're just gonna be drawing a line from here and here. So we grab go to X and we'll put our Y next there. And then we can like, we can like do the math here. So we can just like pen down. Oh, I forgot the pen extension. We pen down and then we will go to X and then we'll put this X to y2 and then we will pen up now the problem with this is that since it is doing this go to x it's doing it on the player too because all of this engine is one one per on one thing but we don't want that to happen we don't want it to do that because like um I'll tell you what I mean when we do this draw ground block. So make a block and then call this draw ground. 
run with that screen refresh and click OK. So now we have this draw ground block and we want it to basically draw our black ground for us or whatever ground you guys had. So we have a black ground. We have our pen color set to black for the black ground. And then we can set our pen size to maybe like 40. 40 is probably great. And then we will draw our line from this left side to the right side so that the player can just be like um, doing that. So we can just put like negative 240. That's the, le the left side of the screen. And then we'll put negative 100. Negative 100, oh, not 1,000. And then 240, and then negative 100. So it doesn't draw a line currently. So after that, let's just go to the draw ground block, and then we can just draw our ground. Yeah, basically, um, yeah, you see there's no player because the player gets stuck in the ground. And that's a big problem. So what we do is we will, um, first of all, we need to erase all. And then we need to, like, create variables so that, so that the player does not get, stuck inside here and these variables will determine what the player's x and y is <clears throat> so we'll call this one pen x pen x and then we'll call another one pen y and these these variables have to be for the sprite only because we don't want other sprites getting into these variables yeah, so we have these player x variables. We have these pen, um, the players x. So now after that, um, grab this set pen x, and then we will put x position in one of them, and the other one should be y position. So we'll set our x position here, and then we will. And then what we will go to X, we'll go to X, uh, not zero, zero, sorry, pen X, because we set this so that it will listen to that command and do that. So basically, yeah, so now we have the player, because if that code's not there, then we cannot do that. So yeah, this is the tutorial on part one, where we drew the we did the player's physics and we drew the ground so yeah that's basically a wrap up on this tutorial and i'm just gonna be seeing you guys next time in part two thank you guys and subscribe to my channel